Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. In this episode we're going to talk about how I take advantage of Mother Nature and let Mother Nature do some work for me. We're going to be selecting the winner of last week's uh, mystery box. We'll also be selecting the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? And at the end of this video I have another Would You Dig It? contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card. You doing okay baby girl? You doing okay? Yeah, I know Haley and I both would like to thank everybody who helped us out and to everyone who gave us some kind words and we are looking forward to her being comfortable again because I know that tumor right there, it, it makes her uncomfortable. Even on these walks, she struggles. And this view is awesome. She loves it. It's one of her favorite walks. Are we going for a car ride? Oh, Haley, are we going for a car ride? Oh, yeah. You see all this sand? Where's the sand? It was so windy the other day. We call it the Santa Ana winds. And that's why I came to this beach because literally the dry sand blew off the beach. And it exposes all the stuff that sits on the top. So, I metal detected here yesterday and got a ring and some coins and everything's on the surface. And right in here, I saw a couple of coins over here. I don't know if I could see them again. But basically, if you look close, yeah, there we go. Right there, there is a penny. Uh, there we go. There's a quarter. You don't need the knocks. You just need your eyes. But I'll tell you, there's stuff below that surface we can't see. Right? Is there anything else? Well, let's just get the knocks turned on and locate it. But by eye, I got a penny and a quarter. Oh, and a dime. Anything else around here? So I'm 36 cents in by eyeball. There's another one right here. Just got to pick that thing right on up. That's all I got to do. Penny, shield penny. You know, having the, the Equinox certainly does help, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like shiny sticking up. But you will find shiny stuff. I've just not seen it. Maybe it's just the way the sun is. Now, I actually saw this one. I don't know if you guys can see it. So you really can't see with the GoPro, huh? That thing all just blends in. But that's another dime. And that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to extract as much coinage and any other stuff that's just sitting right on top. I'm going to target right here. Oh, I actually do see it now. I didn't see it in the beginning. It is just sitting right on top. Okay, all right. This whole section of this area is awesome. So many little targets. Yep. Uh, I don't think that one is on top. Sorry, guy. So it's gonna be, oh, I got more on my, where my coil's at, over here. <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Uh, another penny. Okay. Oh yeah, another penny sitting right on top here. Okay. What else we got around here? <laughs> this whole section, I think what it was is this one little section was probably a coin spill. And then the wind just kind of, you know, blew all the sand off of the area. You can see where the sand went, right down into the water area, all the way down the beach. And why is this beach different than others? Well, guys, look behind me. This whole valley behind me, this beach is exposed to those Santa Ana winds. That's why I'm here, utilizing the topography of the area and uh, 
and it's not science guys it's really i experience been doing it for i don't know so many odd years but we got probably been doing the wind events on this beach for well over 20 years i like it when it's super super windy i'll come right on out so guys taking advantage of mother nature is very important we all know when a big storm comes in and makes a nice big l-shaped cut we're going straight to the beach right well are you going straight to the beach when a wind event occurs and a dry sand is being blown off the beach I will tell you there's spots all over Southern California that are just like my Bolsa Chica State Beach, okay? I live right next to Bolsa Chica State Beach and that's why I go there. If I live near a different beach, I'd be hitting that beach too. You really need to understand your beaches. If you understand your beaches, you're gonna have better success and that's really all there is to it. And for those of you who live multiple miles away from the beach and don't have the advantage that Jim has, I would suggest really studying the beaches that you want to detect. I live in Orange County. There's 42 miles of beach line to detect in Orange County. All right. And I know every single mile of those beaches. I've been doing it for about 30 years. They're well over 30 years, actually. <laughs> I'm dating myself, right? <laughs> but I will say, as an avid detectorist over those 30 years, the weather conditions are what brings me out of the house, right? To go detect. And if you're not taking advantage of every single weather condition that makes it just right for us to detect, you're missing out on those opportunities. For instance, today at Bolsa Chica State Beach, the wind blew it off due to Santa Ana winds. Tomorrow, the winds are going to be coming from the onshore flow, blowing that dry sand right back up, covering all those good targets again, making it a very difficult beach to detect. So one of the reasons I like to go to Bolsa Chica State Beach when there's a wind event is it's so hard to detect in just regular dry sand because of fire pits, I call it trash can beach. You guys have seen my videos at Bolsa Chica State Beach. If you haven't, take a look at my catalog and my playlists. I have tons of videos of me at Bolsa Chica State Beach, either hunting the fire pits or on a windy day. So let's select the winner of the gold mystery box. Okay guys, for the $150 gold mystery box giveaway, I have an item I put right there. I am in beach one, excuse me, park one. I do that every time, guys. I'm in park one, okay? Item is right here. We can go 90 degrees. All right, I know you're gonna dig that, guys. But comment below of what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win one of those $150 gold mystery box that I'm gonna be offering up on my channel, guys. Okay, guys. Let's go back here one more time. Shall we dig this one up? It is a bullet casing that I found at San Clemente State Beach. Okay guys, it's time to select the winner of the $150 gold mystery box. I'm going to go to my TubeBuddy app. I'm going to select pick a winner. Comment must contain the words. And I'm going to use bullet for bullet casing. Bullet. Dig it deep. That sounds like a brass bullet casing for the mystery box. And the would you dig it, I think, would be a brand new bottle cap. Love your channel. Well, dig it deep, we love you too. And if you send me an email, you can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. 
I will send you out your $150 gold mystery box. Congratulations, Brass Bullet was the perfect answer. And there was two or three perfect answers on that, guys. Congratulations, dig it deep. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $150 mystery box. So, guys, it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? All right, guys, I got one for you here. Would you dig it? And uh, let's see, I am in, well, first of all, I'm here at Sunset Beach and it's rich in black sands, all right? And I'm gonna be in all metal mode in beach two, okay? I'm gonna put the earphones on you guys. Go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. All right, guys, let's dig this one up. Oh, this one's gonna throw you guys for a loop and yes that is a silver ring and it only rings up that mid-tone due to the fact that it shapes okay guys it's time to select the winner of last week's would you dig it i'm going to my two buddy app i'm selecting pick a winner comment must contain the words and it needs to be associated with would you dig it Silver ring. Pick a winner. Kylie Smith. I would dig it. It's a silver ring. Well, Kylie Smith, I think that's how you pronounce it. I do know that you've won before. And you don't go by Kyle or you are a female. I know that for a fact. So... Kylie Smith is a female. I just wanted to point that out, guys. I remember that from the last win. So, Kylie Smith, send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. Congratulations, Kylie Smith. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. And guys, don't get discouraged. I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card happening right now. So let's check this one out. Okay, guys, I'm here at Seal Beach. I'm right next to the pier and I got a Would You Dig It right here. Now, for a $25 Amazon gift card, that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. Let's take a look at this one. Let me turn that light on. You might be able to see it better. Let's go 90 degrees. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. Okay guys, let's dig this one up. Would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Tutorial Tuesday. And guys, if you like my video, please click like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time we release a new video and please take a look at either one of these videos